Defense Secretary, what is going on with you? We do need to know. The scrutiny is growing on US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin over his illness. Criticisms of US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin growing after it emerged, his deputy Kathleen Hicks was unaware that he was in the hospital, despite assuming some of his responsibilities. Hmm. I mean, there's a lot going on in the world today. She was not informed until the 4th of January that Mr. Austin was in intensive care for four days after he entered the hospital. On Sunday, a Pentagon spokesperson revealed Mr. Austin had undergone an elective medical procedure on December 22nd, returned home the next day. But he began experiencing severe pain on the evening of January 1st. Was admitted to the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Washington. Air Force Major General Pat Ryder said, Mr. Ryder added that the Defense Secretary's medical needs required a stay in the intensive care unit. And he then remained in that location in part due to hospitals, hospital space considerations and privacy. Uh, BBC, thank you for the details. Will you stop playing with us, please? Please stop playing these games. Mr. Austin, age 70, resumed his full duties on Friday evening, the Pentagon said. Questions are swirling around the secrecy of his medical situation. The Defense Secretary sits just below the President in the chain of command for the US military. And the Pentagon's failure to disclose Mr. Austin's illness has raised concerns about a lack of transparency. For three days, senior defense officials and even the White House were not aware of Mr. Austin's hospital visit. Um, I don't know who told you that, but it's just, I wanted to giggle as I said it. But it's a serious situation. He's, he's, he's unwell. And by the way, Resume full duties. Can we lay eyes on the defense secretary live? Can we do that live? Members of both parties have expressed alarm over the secrecy of the hospital stay, but the Biden administration has so far backed Mr. Austin. President Joe Biden, who spoke with him on Saturday, has, quote, no plans for anything other than Secretary Austin to stay in the job. Well, that's a clue right there, isn't it? Isn't that a clue right there? National Security Spokesman John Kirby told reporters that on Monday, the president's number one focus is on his health and recovery. He's looking forward to having him back at the Pentagon as soon as possible, BBC News. Democratic Congressman Adam Smith, the ranking member of the House Armed Services Committee, wrote in a joint statement with a Republican colleagues that Mr. Austin must provide additional details on his health and the decision making process that occurred in the past week as soon as possible. Some Republicans have called for Mr. Austin to be sacked. Former President Donald Trump, who didn't serve anything in the military, said the secretary should be fired immediately for improper professional conduct and dereliction of duty. Well, that is rich. You want me to read it again or do you get it? Okay. Mr. Trump said the secretary should be fired immediately for improper professional conduct and dereliction of duty. Duty. Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton called for consequences for this shocking breakdown. Really, Tom Cotton wants consequences. I'm sorry, I don't want to giggle because this is a serious story. Um, I want to start with Biden, if we can, Ravana. The president says that he has no plans other than for paraphrasing the defense secretary to mind his health and get right back on the job. I have a hunch that's because you did know that he was in the hospital and you chose not to tell the American people. That's really what happened. Do you think I am to believe a black man, general, who's done nothing but follow the chain of command his entire career, is going to war with that, suddenly decided, to put on some kind of bonnet and creep into the hospital under cover of night in ICU and not tell his boss, the president. Again, we've done some stupid things in America, but America's still filled with smart people. I wish you would stop doing this mm -hmm. and putting out statements. And by the way, Rayvon, I'm gonna give it to you. But when they do 
get Mr. Austin in front of a congressional hearing, if he ever goes before resigning, it's not gonna bode too well. He's either going to have to lie, I this is me saying this, or tell the truth. And he can't do either one, so I don't believe he'll ever appear. Right. Absolutely. Uh, there is, when you are appointed to such a high ranking position, you have to forego a level of privacy that you enjoy as a private citizen. We, as the people of America, have a right to know when someone of such high ranking status who has such an important position is unable to perform the duties of their job, we need to know. And if, and if that happens after someone has been quickly moved in to assume the roles of that duty to, to make sure that our national security is not at risk, that's okay. But what we don't need to be is lied to. We don't need yeah. to be lied to by the de Defense Department. We don't need to be lied to by the president because you, you hit the nail exactly on the head. Joe Biden, at least his administration yeah. was well aware that he was in the hospital. To lie to us in such a manner is disrespectful. It's wrong. But speaking of disrespectful and wrong, Donald Trump making that ridiculous statement, dereliction mm -hmm. of duty, that might as well be your middle name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just to, yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, they are accountable to us. We pay these people's salaries. Uh, we need to know. We need this information, uh, and it's totally grossly inappropriate for us to be routinely lied to, like we're stupid. And I'm getting tired of, and I perhaps it's an unfair statement because I didn't watch all of it, but I watched enough of the coverage where the media put they put little things on the screen, and they said things like, as if it was fact, the president was not notified for X amount of days. One of the things a journalist is supposed to do is, is use all your senses. This doesn't pass the giggle test, duh. Uh, stop it. And we know it doesn't pass the test because if Mr. Biden is going to allow for a chain of command to be, well, he got the middle finger if we're to believe the White House's story and nothing to see here. Well, I can't wait till he comes back. Now we know it's a lie. We know it's pretty serious because the choice to lie, in my opinion, to the American people was made. We knew this must be a serious illness here, something, procedure, complication. Uh, we'll keep following it. I don't believe he'll ever sit for a hearing. I don't, but we'll see.